Welcome back to 5G is Now, our video collection about 5G new radio. 5G supports non-standalone and standalone based architectures. In an earlier video, we have discussed the non-standalone mode. This time, the focus is on the access procedure for the standalone mode. Daniela, one of the authors of our 5G book, can tell us more about this access procedure. Yes, indeed, the standalone mode is one of the main deployment scenarios for NR radio. How does it work? The first thing, why is a new scenario? The new scenario involves a UE connected to the uh, G not B, which is, was already in the non-standalone case, but the UE connected to G not B, now we have a new element. The G not B is connected to the 5G core. So a new core network behind the G not B. In non-standalone scenario, there was still the EPC. So now we have a new combination of components in this standalone scenario. How the initial access works? The first thing is the UE has to search for the Dowling synchronization signal. This was in non-standalone an easy task because the uh, non-standalone case, the, uh, the LT was able to configure exactly where the frequency was of this uh, synchronization SS block. In the standalone scenario where we find now, uh, the UE has to search over the band with the channel raster and identify the position of the synchronization signal. The second step is to acquire the MIP, which was already in the non-standalone. But the third step is a very important step of a standalone case where UE received the SIP1. In uh, SIP1 is a new message that we simulate with our CMX um, setup. And it's a new message because the, in the non-standalone case, the SIP1 was hard coded over LT. In the standalone case, the SIP1 is broadcasted from the G node B, and UE needs to really decode the control and the data downlink channel. The fourth step is then the random access. The random access in standalone is a contention-based random access. We saw already in the non-standalone case a contention-free uh, random access. In the, con in the standalone case, the UE has to select exactly how to transmit the first message in uplink, the preamble, and in which occasion in the uplink is supposed to transmit. So this is a little bit change from the non-standalone case to the standalone case. Next step after the random access is the RC connection setup. And the very last step, the, the last step is the um, uh, NAS signaling the connection to a 5G core. Here again, since we have a new module in our deployment with the 5G core, we have a new NAS signaling. And uh, in our CMX um, scenario uh, setup, we can see that we can simulate a NAS signaling uh, protocol and the UE is able to connect to the uh, 5G core and even select a sl um, network slicing, which is a new feature in the 5G core network. All this procedure is explained in very well detail in our book with a lot of reference of the 3GPP specification. Exactly. There's so much more to tell about this topic. You can find more details of the standalone mode and other 5G topics in our online book. See you later, and don't forget, 5G is now!